Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mihir Joshi. This is the MJ Show, and we are ready to go live with my guest for this evening. She's a very talented uh, young singer. She's been putting up some great content on YouTube. Wait, I'm going out again because I forgot my iPad and uh, need my iPad around me when I'm doing this chat. And yes, so as I was saying, she's a very talented young singer. She's got a brand new single out right now, which is called Pass Burn. We're going to be talking about that I'm finally seated in my place. For all of you who are joining me, if you're wondering why I'm doing this, that I start the show over there and I bring it over here, it's because COVID-19 and lockdown. And uh, I have a two-year-old baby boy who sleeps in a room which is adjacent to my living room. So I can't sit and talk over there because it can get a little loud. And he wakes up and you do not wake up a two-year-old baby boy. Okay, random stuff aside, it's time for me to get my guest on the show. She's got a brilliant new song, like I said, called Pass Band, which is out. Uh, she's extremely popular on YouTube and here on Instagram as well. And we're going to find out a lot more about her, about her music, about her life, about her journey in just about... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on the MJ Show, the extremely talented Shreya Jain. For everybody who's joining me right now, hi. Here we go. Hi, hi. Shreya. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing really, really good. Uh, good to finally catch up with you. Uh, if you guys are wondering why I said finally catch up with you, it's because we were supposed to do this a couple of days ago. Unfortunately, for reasons yes. uh, both of our control, it could not happen. But we rescheduled it and uh, we finally have her here. So, Shreya, welcome to the MJ Show. And uh, uh, firstly, I got to tell you, I love the brand, the new song that you put out. Thank uh, you. And Thank we you so much. On that we are going to talk about that but before we do that as i always do whenever somebody comes on my show for the first time let's start with what i call the origin story how did you get into music how did your journey into music begin okay so basically my father is a professional classical singer and my hmm. dd is also a trained classical singer and i've been uh, listening to them since childhood matlab bachpan se hi ghar pe aisa raha hai ki music sunte sunte main badi hui hu but i never thought that uh, you know i would do music uh, full time or professionally but then it's just been 4 to 5 years i started shows uh, and that's how i realized okay this is something i really love this is something i i enjoy completely so Beautiful. that's how i realized okay music i want to do music full time and that's, that's awesome. what i'm doing So you know what? Uh, before we talk any further, I just want to check with I our audience right now. Exactly, that's what I wanted to check. Can you guys see me? Can you guys see her okay. properly? I think there's there an a, internet issue right now. A, yeah, that's what I think as well. Uh, are you some? Are you on 4G right now? Do you have Wi-Fi happening? Yeah, uh, right. Yeah. And do you have a Wi-Fi connection around you? Let's just hope it does. Okay, I said, do do you have a Wi-Fi connection around you, or are we are we talking on four G? Is it is it better? It's a little better, yeah. Now I can at least see you because earlier, you know, I was just getting the okay. the circle. Okay, I was connected uh, to the Wi-Fi earlier. Now it's the normal four G at all. Now it's four G. I think it's better with four G than with Wi Fi. Okay, great. So now I can see you clearly. And now let's get back to your childhood. You said you know at a very young age, you know because of your father and your sister, you were influenced uh, by music. And you said your father is uh, 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 an incredibly uh, trained and you know respected classical singer. So yes. what was your musical upbringing? Was it classical as well? Uh, he he really like both of them, my dad and my papa. दे यूज टू फोर्स मी की नहीं रियाज कर लो आप बिना रियाज के इतना अच्छा गाती हो तो जस्ट थिंक आप रियाज कर कितना अच्छा गाओगे बट देन आई वॉज टू लेज बैक देन बट ऑब्वियसली मैं सुन रही थी तो हमेशा दिमाग में और कानों में रहता है वेन यू यू नो लिसन टू ग्रो अप लिसनिंग टू क्लासिकल म्यूजिक तो आई गेस लिसनिंग क्वाइट हेल्प मी अलॉट एंड देन वेन आई रियलाइज दैट आई वॉन्ट डू म्यूजिक आई स्टार्ट डूइंग रियाज रेगुलरली what was one of the first things that you remember singing something that maybe your father taught you and uh, that you landed up you know even if you weren't performing in front of a lot of people maybe in your at your home in front of your family or whatever you know what was the first thing that you learned uh i don't know if you uh, i don't know maybe you've heard it it's a song of shubha madgal 
सीखो ना नैनो की भाषा भी आ लवली कैन कैन आई हियर यू सिंग अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ इट राइट नाउ गो फॉर इट सीखो ना नैनो की भाषा भी आ कह रही दिल से ये खामोशी का सीखो ना लब तो ना खोलोगे मैं समझो दिल की बोली सीखो ना नैनो की भाषा पिया it's lagging a bit that was beautiful that was really Thank really you. nice so so uh, you know like all uh, young people who then get into school college did you do the whole college circuit go to college festival perform at various college festivals was that your sort of first performing space uh, and did you did you actually get involved with a lot of activities in your school and college days related to music the fun fact is no uh in fact i did my graduation in interior designing oh wow okay that's interesting <laughs> and in the middle middle of my graduation like in third year i realized that uh, i started doing local gigs like uh, some okay. gigs gigs uh, or maybe uh, concerts uh, college concerts in my own city so that's how uh-huh. i started performing and in third year i realized okay i cannot do interior and i want to do music and i wanted to dro- drop out from the college and i which right. i eventually did and fir ek saal ke liye drop out ho gaya and i was like papa i really want to go to mumbai i want to write my own songs i want to sign a label there and he was like since i am the youngest child ghar pe so main hamesha choti hi rahungi kitni bhi badi ho jao so they were like ki nahi nahi aap abhi chote ho to aap abhi nahi ja sakte so i was like chalo theek hai ab to maine drop le liya hai so i have to do something so then my friend uh, his name is sagar tripathi he came up with this idea he is a photographer basically and he was like let's start a youtube channel i want to do i want to learn how to do videos so that's how mm-hmm. my youtube channel started uh, how cool and oh, this was how many years ago uh 5 6 years ago 3 years 3 years back oh three years ago wow that and uh, you know i was i was actually on your youtube channel i was checking out some of the songs and i saw uh, you know uh, one of the songs that everybody seems to have fallen in love with uh, was you know actually a song which i saw that uh, and you also collaborated right now on pasban with uh, uh, abhijit shrivastava who was supposed yes. to be with me earlier today uh, yeah. he's sort of co-composed the song with you right yes, pasban yes. has been yes. you guys have worked on it together and i, I found it very interesting uh, wait i have the worst memory jyotu namila of course a beautiful song uh, which ha- has been originally sung by asim azhar and i found that uh, wasn't there a song that he also did another asim azhar song which he did with i think somebody else and i thought both of you chose songs that i absolutely love both these songs are stunning songs and i love yes. your i guess he did nawazi she karam no yes he did that with i think uh, uh, his uh, pratiksha is that right pratiksha yes, shrivastava yes pratiksha shrivastava Correct. So they did that, and you did this, and I was like, uh, both. My, I was introduced to Asim Azhar by my wife. She watches a lot of Pakistani TV shows. She watches a lot of Pakistani music, and you know, she keeps showing me interesting content. I was like, wow, man, such an amazing song, and both these songs are fantastic. So, uh, how did it to release a song which got so much uh, love from people? You know, I mean, like, I I know yes. all your other songs also have a lot of love, but this one, like. really crazy so was this like the was this the first song on the channel that that really exploded or was there something else yes, before this definitely it was the okay. first one and this was the first all one re- all your respect i really feel the original song is a gem the composition is beautiful so maybe uh, it got viral because it was the first female version of the song yeah and the original song is the male version maybe the male, that yeah, is course. one of the point the second one is it is a shot very beautifully I love that is, video. Yeah. Even today, it's one of my most favorite video on my channel, and the drop uh, is really cool. So, like, we got a lot of uh, a response on the drop. No, it's a beautiful song, and like you said, uh, it's a beautiful view as well that you have. So, before we move further, can I hear you sing a line or two of that song? Sure, sure. Mm-hmm. 
चलते नहीं यू अब नहीं तुम और मैं साथ दोनों क्या मिल गई तुमको खुशी हो के जुदाए तुम बोलो प्यार था वक्त नहीं जो बीत गया धूप में तू बन के याद रहे फरियाद रहेगा दिल में क्यों अब एक लफ नहीं कहने की हालत में सोचा कहूंगी एक दिन जो तू ना मिला मुझे जो तू ना मिला मुझे तुल को क्या बताऊंगी तुल को क्या बताऊंगी जो तू ना मिला मुझे जो तू ना मिला मुझे तुल को क्या बताऊंगी तुल को क्या बताऊंगी That was lovely. So when did you realize after starting off your YouTube channel की ठीक है covers तो कर लिए अब समय हो चुका है कि मुझे मेरा original गाना release करना है I want to start writing I want to start composing I want to make my own music When was that sort of realization that happened So basically I as I told you कि I really wanted to do this one year early because I asked my parents to send me to Mumbai but they did not allow me तो मुझे लगता है आई ऑलवेज वॉन्टेड टू स्टार्ट विद ओरिजिनल बट आई थॉट लाइक समथिंग इज ऑलवेज बेटर देन डूइंग नथिंग सो दैट्स वाई आई स्टार्टेड डूइंग कवर्स एंड देन आफ्टर अ ईयर एंड हाफ आई शिफ्टेड टू मुंबई आई गॉट साइंड विद द लेबल कॉल अ स्प्रिंग वर्ल्ड रिकॉर्ड विच इज ओन बाय आशीष पंचंदा एंड आई एम रियली ब्लेस आई फील ब्लेस दैट आई एम अ पार्ट ऑफ द फैमिली एंड उसके बाद आई गेस एक साल वी रोड अ लॉर्ड ऑफ सॉन्ग बिकॉज हम लोगों ने सोचा दैट विल स्टार्ट एंड विल नॉट स्टॉप सो दैट्स व्हाई हम हम चाहते थे कि बैक एंड में हमारे पास बहुत सारे गाने हो जो मैं कंसिस्टेंटली ओरिजिनल्स पुट आउट करूं बिकॉज विद द कवर्स आई एम वेरी कंसिस्टेंट लाइक आई पुट टू वीडियोस इन अ मंथ दैट्स अमेजिंग या सो दैट्स हाउ इट ऑल स्टार्टेड एंड नाउ वी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ ओरिजिनल्स ऑन द वे दैट इज फैंटास्टिक सो आई डोंट नो इफ यू नो दिस बट यू एंड आई हैव दिस इन कॉमन व्हिच इज my debut album was actually released by ashish manchanda uh, oh, wow. it was called mumbai blues and we put that out 6 years ago so this was before <laughs> springboard records was actually created it was under the flying carpet productions uh, banner and then it was released by time music and uh, uh, i had the most incredible time working with ashish with aman with everybody at uh, you know live with all the guys who uh, uh, work at the media tribe at uh, flying carpet productions and i think there was a genuinely and i'm not saying this because i have worked with them i wanted to work with them because i believe that they are one of the most professional outfits in music in our country i mean uh, they got best, they genuinely have the best guys working with them uh, and i i was so happy with the way my album sounded uh, it was 10 years into my career i'd been already doing radio i'd been doing for 10 years almost and i knew that whenever i'm ready to release my album i wanted to work with a producer who could really make it sound international quality i never wanted to be like yaar kitni ghar pe baith ke karo kuch aadha aap karo and with ashish it's always top notch it's always international True. quality it's ready to be released anywhere in the yeah. world and i could make that out when i heard pasman as well i thought uh, the production itself i would say it's ashish. always unique that's why i said i'm really yeah. blessed to be a part of springboard family So is Pasban the first original that you have released right now with uh, with Springboard? Yes. It's the first one. Can you hear me? This is the first one, right? Yeah. I I, I can hear you. I is it lagging? There's a bit of a lag, but I think as long as we hear each other and you know you get okay. what I'm saying, I think we'll continue with. Oh. I was saying uh, I do believe that before uh pasban you were involved with an original which uh, was not on your channel is that right is a song called khata is that also something yeah, that you yeah. that, that was also yeah. an original right that wasn't a cover yeah yeah that wasn't but original. your solo original pasban yeah, is the first yeah something that i wrote something, something that you wrote like, which is mine which is like my baby <laughs> absolutely absolutely so now tell me about pasban let's talk about pasban well, i love uh, Uh, that it's a very different take on a love song it's not 
your traditional love song why don't you tell everybody what pasban is about so pasban means keeper and protector so <clears throat> the chorus line says chahe tu ho na mera main hu tera pasba which which means ki agar kabhi aap mere nahi bhi hue to bhi i'll always protect you and then i'll always care for you so it's written from a one sided lover it's a very uh, it's a very interesting take uh, because right now when i see young especially young women writing love songs is either oh i'm deeply madly in love with this guy and it's a reciprocated love and it's all sunshine and rainbows or it's uh, you know like i i call it the taylor swift uh, uh, model of <laughs> song where you know heartbreak has happened and then you are basically crucifying the guy in the song so you know it it, it goes away from both these uh, genres of love song which are out there in the world right. uh, from young women and i thought this was very beautiful it was a very mature take on uh, writing a love song and uh, i think again the video has been shot very beautifully tell me a little bit about the making of the video so basically uh... we were supposed to shoot this uh, in mumbai and uh, mm-hmm. because of the lockdown i had to come back to my hometown which is nagpur and mm-hmm. i so basically i told you about the guy with, with which actually basically he uh, pro, uh, he wanted me to open my youtube channel and mm-hmm. i collaborated with him and a, another guy his name is ray and the other guy's name is sagar tripathi so my entire video team was in nagpur only so luckily i had my team in nagpur so wo ek bahut acha plus point tha ki theek hai at least i can shoot something so then uh, we came up with this concept where we wanted something different because i upload a cinematic kind of videos with my cover and uh, we wanted to do something which will stand out like which was yeah. something different than my regular videos so my yeah. friend he came up with this concept okay we can do something with pictures and we can you know just uh, book a farm house and we can do this so that's how we did we shot it in like 16 hours like oh wow continue. that's pretty amazing and, and i think uh, the editing and everything of the video is spectacularly done and you know the final uh, product that everybody gets to see is beautiful so you know uh, why don't you uh, sing a little bit of pass band sure. for us <coughs> beautiful and you know what uh, this is a great time for independent music you know <clears throat> over the last sure. 5 months since the lock began um i have been busy with the mj show uh, you know in incident you are my 158th guest since the 30th oh, wow. of march uh-huh. yeah so it's really crazy i mean i've had i've had the opportunity to talk to out of the 158 people i'd say about 120 were singers or people related <laughs> to the music industry and the others were actors and whatever stand up comics and other uh, other forms of entertainment but i realized one thing literally everybody who's a singer including people who were singing extensively for bollywood are all working on their own independent material right now they're all working on uh, that they want to put out which is yeah. their voice their emotions their thoughts and yeah. feelings and i think uh, the audiences have now come to a point where they are saying like ha yaar bollywood chhod ke bhi aur kuch hai sun sakte hai aur acche gaane aa rahe hain तो क्यों ना सुने एंड आई थिंक इट्स सो ग्रेट कि इंडिपेंडेंट सीन इतना ज्यादा बढ़ रहा है इंडिया में बिल्कुल बिल्कुल एंड यू नो लाइक आई सेड बिफोर दिस कांसेप्ट इवन हैपेंड वेयर राइट नाउ पीपल आर नाउ ओपनिंग अप देयर माइंड्स एंड सेइंग कि हां यार इंडिपेंडेंट म्यूजिक अच्छा है सुनते हैं आई थिंक आशीष वाज 
thinking this way before the lockdown yeah. happened where he believed in independent music and said that hey you know what i'm going to focus on writing and and finding good talent good singers and help them create their yeah. their material so you know you come out um, you know you with your original at a great time and i can see that you know you said that you got a lot more songs lined up yeah. so during lockdown period how did you utilize these last 5 6 months uh, you know productively what have you done uh, in terms of content right now so basically as i told you my father is a professional classical singer and he's also a music tutor so bachpan se he used to be very busy एंड हमको थोड़ा बहुत टाइम मिल जाता था उनके स्केड्यूल से थोड़ा मिल गया तो मिल गया एंड आई फील कि अभी लॉकडाउन में मुझे जितना टाइम मिला है ना उतना मुझे जिंदगी भर नहीं मिला है तो आई फील रोली लकी कि मैं लॉकडाउन में घर पे थी एंड आई कुड डू रियाज एंड आई कुड लर्न न्यू वोकल टेक्निक्स एंड आई आई सेटअप अ वीडियो इन माई बेडरूम ओनली सेटअप इन माई बेडरूम ओनली सो आई गेस आई लर्न अलॉर्ड ऑफ थिंग्स आई लर्न हाउ टू यूज सॉफ्टवेयर एंड आई लर्न हाउ टू रिकॉर्ड माई सेल्फ सो आई गेस I had a pretty good time, and uh, very, in lockdown cool. also we managed to shoot the videos. Fortunately, I am blessed with the best team, and even in the lockdown we managed to shoot. Like, एक दिन के लिए पापा बाहर बैठे तो we used to sh- we are sh- we are shot two to three videos in a day. क्योंकि next day भेजेंगे नहीं बाहर तो. Correct. No, but that's really good. You know, you you managed to stay safe, keep everything. You know, yeah. like. in lockdown uh, following the rules of quarantine but still working on uh, great content which is spectacular uh, before we go on i just want to address a lot of your fans are here sending you a lot of love telling you a lot of really yes. nice things want to address them and say, hey listen we are watching you and thank you very much for being here with us yes, and like yes, i always thank you so much anywhere else if you are here watching us uh, us talks thank you very much for being here i uh, want to say something to your fans because you do have some great people uh, who love you and you are both very much yes so guys i am reading all your comments thank you so much for all the love and thank you so much for joining this live and i always thank them i always say that i am because of you what i am so thank you so much <laughs> that's be- that's beautiful so you know uh, looking forward to your new songs that are going to be coming out eventually your new originals that are going to be coming out eventually but uh, tell me what the Goal is where do you see Shreya Jain say two years from now? What's the goal in terms of music? Do you do you see uh, or are you content with saying that I'm going to be releasing songs on my terms, or do you also see yourself wanting to make a move into Bollywood? Which, by the way, is not a bad thing. Bollywood is a great vehicle yeah. for singers to reach sure. every part of the country because you know there's no other machine like Bollywood in our country, as sure. I always say. And India pop music for you know better or worse right now is bollywood hopefully that will change and we'll have an independent music industry which will be on par with bollywood some day but right now it's just getting there bollywood right. is still up there so what's your plan where do you want to go i obviously i wouldn't say no for a playback if i get one <laughs> but obviously <laughs> my aim is to do independent music and right. uh, basically i see shreya jain performing all over the world in next two years i don't know the possibility of this but i love being on the stage and i guess i love that like beyond anything else so i just see myself performing everywhere performing my own originals so that's all i want that's fabulous so you know what before we wrap up for today before we you know end our conversation for everybody who's a fan of yours and you you know apart from putting up content on youtube you also keep putting up small videos here on instagram uh, pick up pick one song that you've done recently which you got a lot of love for apart from the song that we've spoken about it could be a cover that you've done and you know that people really loved it and they wrote back to you saying that man this is fantastic and can we hear you yeah. sing a little bit there are a lot of recently i did bella chao and it let me be bagi si like 3 months back and on instagram nice. and that quite went viral people really loved it because at that time money heist was like Huge. on the hype everybody was watching it so they really really Can loved you? it so i think i'll sing two lines of bella chao and it let me be bagi si go for it मतीना 
e ho trovato un bel basso un partigiano portami via un bella ciao bella ciao bella ciao 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 partigiano portami via che mi sento di morire balcati qui tirati qui stavo in chi sono i ratmi mere ek jana me se koi aage na piche tum hi kaho ye koi baat hai ek ladki thi ki bhagi si soti raaton me jaagi si mere ek jana me se koi aage na piche tum hi kaho ye koi baat hai yeah oh such a <laughs> Asha, bhai, I love that. That was fantastic. You. you know, before you, I, I want to ask you one thing. You know, you are a young, uh, you're a young woman in the digital age, putting out content on social media platforms. And while I'd say ninety percent of the people who would be communicating with you or writing to you are fans who love your work, who love your music, there's always this little bunch of people who are mean and who are just randomly rude and right. uh, and. Uh, Uh, for people who follow you you know I, and i see a lot of people who are your fans who, who are people who are inspired by you uh, what is the advice that you would like to give them about handling negativity on social media right now It, it's an important point which is the only reason i brought it up towards the end of our conversation i really feel it's a part of life there is negativity there is positivity you have to choose ki aapko kaha concentrate karna hai and what you want to do because i really feel that if you are a positive person and you are doing positive things and not thinking about the negative then it will work out for you some or the other day just ignore it and do what you love and if you're doing what you love i really feel it will work out some or the other day it will brilliant that's a great attitude to have uh, towards uh, trolls and towards people who want to impart negativity into your life as long as you know that the people who are closest to you who will be honest with you are giving you good feedback i think that's what you got to listen to keep working hard uh, every day and i think you're doing just that i want to congratulate you once again on passba and i hope uh, you know it really reaches out to everybody in the country and you've got a great team working with you not friend but also on your uh, record label friend so you know once again uh, yeah. uh, all my wishes and love to you and to everybody at mm-hmm. springboard uh, flying carpet productions you know I, i'm a I, i've 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 really enjoyed working with them and i'm happy to see that True. the journey mm-hmm. of making great music over there has not stopped no matter what's happening in the world so thank you very much for spending time thank with me and for chatting so much with for me. having me meet i had a great time but brilliant so listen everybody watch now this video will go up on the youtube channel of the mj show go subscribe to that and hit the bell icon so that you know when this video goes up if you came in late if you missed out any part of what she said you can watch it there later on go subscribe to the channels of springboard records and shreya jain it's shreya jain music on youtube because there are a couple of other channels as well so shreya jain music is her channel uh go subscribe to that follow her on instagram so that you know uh, you stay updated with everything that's happening because she's putting up a lot of content and she keeps you all up, you know abreast on what's happening with her life and with her music uh shreya so just let all of your fans know as well subscribe to the mj show uh, that that'd be really yeah, nice yeah guys do subscribe to the mj show and agar aap logo ne late live join kiya hai and you missed any of the conversation so you can watch the video i'll put up a swipe up link as well on my story and also follow him because he's doing such a great thing that you can uh, listen to a lot of artists listen to their journeys listen to how they made made the songs so do follow him on instagram and subscribe to his youtube channel <laughs> Thank you so much, Shreya. Uh, lovely chatting with you today. Uh, hopefully, when the pandemic ends and you're back in Mumbai, we'll catch up in person as well. And yeah, I'd so that I can to... meet your two-year-old baby. That would be spectacular. The boy, like right now, I'm sitting here in my room, which used to be a, a room with all of my stuff. And now you can see here, there's there's like a little thing for Neil. That's another. Little poster for him, and Aww. if I flip my screen around, <laughs> this room, which was supposed to be mine, now has like Winnie the Pooh and whatnot on the other side. Like, see there, that's his wow. little bench, that's his little keyboard, that's his toys. So, like, he's taken over my life and uh, or, or everything, and I'm not complaining. I absolutely adore the boy. Because and you can't. Yes, 
yeah can't. because you can't exactly. get sleep yeah uh, you we will we will definitely catch up when you are here in mumbai but for today definitely. thank you so much take thank care of yourself so that's you soon bye so that was it for today's episode my name is meer joshi that is shreya jain this was the mj show i'll see you guys soon bye